Hey, welcome back. We're in the book of Luke, chapter 1, verse 39 to 45 this morning. Let's get straight to it. Now Mary arose in those days and went into the hill country with haste to a city of Judah and entered the house of Zacharias and greeted Elizabeth. And it happened when Elizabeth heard the greeting of Mary that the babe leapt in her womb. And Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit. Then she spoke out with a loud voice and said, Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. But why is this granted to me that the mother of my Lord should come to me? For indeed, as soon as the voice of your greeting sounded in my ears, the babe leapt in my womb for joy. Blessed is she who believed, for there will be a fulfillment of those things which were told her from the Lord. So, now we have uh, Mary. What does she do? She's going to go and help Elizabeth. Elizabeth's, you know, a few months ahead here, and so she's going to go and help her in her pregnancy. And her pregnancy might have been a difficult one. You know, she was an, an aged woman. This was, this was a miraculous thing. This was, this was not the norm. So anyway, we don't know any of those details, but we know that Mary went to be her helper, even though Mary herself is now pregnant with what the Jesus is going to be born to her. So I like these actions. Blessed are you among women. It's interesting here that when they heard each other's voice, the babe leapt in the womb. Now, whose womb was it again? Well, it was Elizabeth. Elizabeth, when Elizabeth, who's going to give birth to John the Baptist, when, when she hears the voice of Mary, the mother of Jesus, John the Baptist leaps in the womb. Very interesting that uh, he know, somehow he knows he's in the presence of the Messiah. And so the, even the little baby leaps in the womb. It just shows you that God is in this. Notice the last things we know we saw here. Blessed is she who believed, for there will be a fulfillment of those things which were told her from the Lord. These women both know God is intervening in the world. God is bringing good into this world. Uh, it's going to be an amazing and intense time. And these are both servants, made servants of the Lord, able to serve him in this, in this very unusual way. But God does intervene, as we mentioned before. And uh, are we ready for his interventions? Are we willing for him to intervene? Are we sort of stuck with kind of a, a dogma that, you know, God never intervenes. Well, God does intervene, and he does it for our good. So we want, again, the same spirit that both of these servants, Elizabeth and Mary, have servants of the Lord. There will be a fulfillment of the things that were told her. There are extraordinary days ahead here in the Gospel of Luke, and also back in the book of Revelation here in the time in which we're living. But let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, thank you for your amazing interventions. Thank you that you care enough. You care supremely, and you've come on the most expensive missions ever in the universe, and you're here now today to help and shape and deliver this last generation into your service. So, Lord, now be our helper. Thank you for hearing our prayers. Oh, Lord, we look to you. You are the king, and we are your servants. Bless, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. And may God bless you today also.